How's it going, ladies and bruises? I'm Boku Six Killer. Welcome back to Nirvana Initiative. Uh, well, crazy uh, ideological society lady is dead, and uh, we found a secret room inside her building that we're going to explore now. Finally, let's have a look. What's this? It's mechanical. Some sort of device, maybe. Some sort of device. Can't you analyze it? Well, from here, no. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be explosives or poison gas. You mean it's safe to open? Probably. 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 This is kind of creepy. Mm. Maybe it's a pedestal <laughs> for performing some sort of ritual. Like offering a sacrifice. It's not an ironing board, that's for sure. It's a real fancy ironing board if it is. Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... It's definitely got some cold vibes going on. <laughs> I'm getting some culty vibes going for me. Mm. It's a box. There was a strange device inside. Yeah, well, open it. Dingus. Yes, burning torches indeed. A thick pillar is holding up the ceiling. We've already done that. Open the box. It's a box, there's a strange device inside. You guess. Alright, nothing else to do with that. Some sort of sacrificial pedestal. Should I s find something to sacrifice? A nice symbol here, too. The Nonable X. Maybe I need to find somebody to sacrifice. Sand is coming down from above. Looks like the ceiling has degraded. I hope it doesn't come down on us. Yeah, me too. Sounds like a bad time. Don't tell me you're going to open it. You said it's probably safe. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. Why not? Um, well, just a hunch. It should be fine. You said it's safe to open. I did add, probably. Still, we can't just not check it. You can't get the treasure unless you lay the dragon, huh? I don't think that was in the terms and conditions of getting the treasure, do you? <laughs> I don't have to bang the dragon, I just want to kill it, you know? There is so much wrong with that <laughs> statement. But yes, that's the idea. Interesting. Hmm? What was that sound? It's kind of like a scope of some kind, isn't it? Ryuki, a biological signal has been detected. There's somewhere close. What? What the? What? It's from the the sump uh, the the sink. It's a sink person. Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Anyway, um... Hey! Freeze! Let me guess, quick time event. This would be the perfect time for one. Uh, what is this? Doesn't seem like he's in that much of a hurry. Nice ass. <laughs> Ryuki, there's a torch coming down from above. Nice try, dipshit. <laughs> there's another one. Damn it. It's a two foot. <laughs> Very fancy. This is what I call Ladder Ballet. <laughs> hey! I said stop! Huh? Man, I hope that's soft, whatever that crap is down there. <laughs>
Farewell. Ryuki Chapter 3 R2. He's not dead. Boss, I apologize for yesterday! Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> Are you sure about that? I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. I'll make up for it! Please. <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Go on. About boss's daughter? Your daughter? I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her Wait, own. Wait, how old are you? 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> Yes. Show motivation? It's all right now. Oh god, what have I done? I am here. Half might. Excuse me. What I'm trying to say is I'm motivated. So please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look. You realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. But I can't just stop now. I should be able to handle this better than anyone. Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. Wink sink. I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. Someone gets paid too much. <laughs> Any new information about the investigation? Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right, there is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. Original. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the Half-Brain Investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. What Kuruto is- Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. What? This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too harsh! However, I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. It's impossible. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? Well, I'll start by not sleeping, I guess. Ryuki... Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Ryuki! Oh, and... The communication system still hasn't been fixed. Of course. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Whoever's me to be in charge of your fucking communication systems, the one who should be demoted. Ryuki. That's been offline for ages. It's pathetic. Are you okay, Ryuki? Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted. Me. You still have three days. If you can solve the case by then... It's impossible. 
I can't believe I was told this today, of all days. I didn't mean to click on a boob like that. <laughs> the bet today. Today was the day I lost my other half. I pulled out a broken watch from my pocket. I had a younger twin brother. He had a strong sense of justice. Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy he was. His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close and we hung out all the time. It was like he was another me. But on that day, six years ago, my brother and I were in the city and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, but the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away. So my brother tried to stop him and he ended up in front of it and he got run over, crushed half his body. This is the watch he was wearing. His time has been frozen since, and I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Today was the day. But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. I hate that criminal. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. Then, are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. Miyuki, isn't there something you should be doing for your brother? Think about it. Yeah, you're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. Why I became a sinker? The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball. Me. The surgery was last summer right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way, but thanks to you going into my left eye, I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Ryuki... Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No, I have to keep going. For my brother, I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. Good luck with it. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? Yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. Go on. What is it that bothers you about Shoma? The location indicated in the hidden message in BATS 490 was a research institute. Mm -hmm. That's what Shoma said, right? Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Then where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. Then that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. But like, didn't the, the crazy lady also admit that the Horridor Institute made the, made the video? About Chikara? Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious too. Rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. Yes, you do. It was even more questionable than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Well, he's trying to make human immortality. I'm sure there was human experiments involved. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast. And the research institute was temporarily shut down. 
This happened nine years ago. During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds, which was provided by Richie Chieda. Kizuna Chieda's father. Ah. Who's Richie Chieda? Rinji Chieda is an extremely wealthy investor. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? It's an orphanage. Seems that's where he is now. Interesting. Well... Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Iris? Why? Oh, Ryuki? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. Actually, Iris hasn't played a very major role in this game compared to the last one. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. Yes, we know. The building also has a small recording studio. Alright, I'll see you there later. Okay, thank you! Off we go then. Uh, we should start with uh, the boy, Shoma. Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen, Misatan, and the third is Lemnusgate. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Ah, Mama the Informant. You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. I want to start with Shoma. Personally. Curious to see what he has to say. Not that he's very helpful usually. Doesn't like talking to us. Oh, Mr. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Hell no. Sorry, but I won't be performing today. Thank God. <laughs> he isn't. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Oh man, I didn't mean to make your dad disappointed. Or whatever happened. Definitely seemed disappointed. Why am I on a Ferris wheel with you? Because <laughs> cause your dad showed us how to be creepy on Ferris wheels. Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. If you shove yourself in there, he just might open up. Could you please not phrase it like that? Jesus. Why'd you lie? What lie? You said the hidden message in BATS 490 pointed to Horidori Institute, but that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied? And where the actual location is? Truth is... I never decoded it. What? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. Are we done now? Don't talk to me anymore. That got a reaction. He's probably lying right now. This chastity belt wasn't loose after all. If you're going to say it that way, you at least have to add the of his heart part. Anyway, I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. God damn it. Uh, one wheel robot. That robot you showed me the other day was really cool. If you're that skilled, I'm sure you've gotten offers from lots of companies. N not really. I'm nothing special. I'm just really into robots. It wasn't. But even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology. And the one-wheel design is beautiful. Well, I knew it had to run on one wheel for sure. It was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one-wheel design. Like, major electronics companies make one-wheel robots to show off their advanced tech. Mm-hmm. Also, what's really great about my robot is its load capacity. It doesn't look like it but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. Huh. <laughs> I know you don't really care, 
Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. <laughs> if you'd maybe shown a little more enthusiasm, it might have. Jesus. Hmm. I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. You gotta do it properly if you're gonna flatter. About Mizuki? I told you before. She's just a classmate. We're not friends. And I don't know much about her. Supposedly, she's attending school from her house near the harbor. But I guess her permanent address is in our school district or something. That's why she goes to the same school as me. So you do know a lot about her? No! That doesn't mean anything! Not like I'm even slightly interested in that uggo. Well... What is he, fucking eight? He really is a kid, huh? <laughs> about Kamichi? He doesn't like his dad, though. I don't want to talk about my dad. He always says that. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Will you cut it out already? <laughs> I've got nothing else to do, dude. I don't want to talk about my dad. I already told you. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I hate him. Huh. Happy now? I hate him so much. I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first. Then dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. I ran away from home yesterday. You ran away from home? What are you fighting about? My friends made fun of me. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring smiles, smiles to the audience. audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's, That's what it what means to be an entertainer. entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out, That's why mom got sick of you and left. Dad turned bright red, and... Then why don't you just leave too? That's why I left the house. That was unnecessary. You hate your dad that much? Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I don't think they're your friends then, dude. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. Are you sure you don't actually like your dad? I told you. I hate him. Everything about him. Are we just going to sit on this Ferris wheel and goad him for the rest of the afternoon? Is that the plan? <laughs> I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, <laughs> stupid awful singing in the bathtub, everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! Look at his giant square head. For hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. It's no good. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. Slap him around a bit. That worked last time. That means... We'll have to try our luck with his father. Oh, yay! We get to ride with him in the Ferris wheel. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel, too. You thought you were going to miss out, didn't you, with my still and company? <laughs> Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Sure. Yeah. But... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. I know, doesn't that mean... does that mean we're going steady now? <laughs> well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in... circles. I don't think we should see other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tama, please leave. So, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. Why are you wearing a stage outfit when you're not performing today? This is the only outfit I have right now. I actually have another set of personal clothes, but I ruined those two days ago. But this bow tie, that'll be fine as long as I have this. <laughs> Isn't it nice? It's lovely. 
Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes. I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. Yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. This tie, Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. That's cute. Ask about Kameji himself. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since, and yet... Do you regret becoming a comedian? Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. About Shoma's lie? After some careful consideration, I told Mr. Kameji that it's highly likely Shoma lied about the message hidden in Bats 490. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. That doesn't help me. How can I get the truth from Shoma? I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little. But yesterday, he ripped it up and threw it away. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult, considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. Um, Mr. Ryuki, there is something I'd like to talk to you about. Sure. What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. What was that about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Oh yeah, good idea. Let's steal the, uh, steal the thoughts from his brain. Yeah, I'll try taking a peek. You don't have to tell me anything. I'm just gonna steal your thoughts. <laughs> I'm the thought police. Hey, asshole. I know you're in there. Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago. Cough it up, you bastard. <sighs> it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday, and the day before that, I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? Not borrow money from loan sharks would be a great start. <laughs> I can't talk to the police about it. Uh, uh. So he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly, Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. Or it is he's involved in some dangerous transactions. That's who he's borrowing money from. <laughs> Kameji, you wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted you to tell it. me, right? You got stolen from his brain. <laughs> Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? W what are you talking about? I would never do something like that. Wow, convincing. You're such an actor. I try asking Kameji some more more questions, but no matter how much I questioned him, he didn't admit to any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key to Shoma's heart. Aww. Well, that means we're not going to get anything out of him.
Huh. Shoma isn't here. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well, bye for now. Excuse me. Ta-ta. Have a lovely time. Not getting Yakuza to Neji and Shoma, huh? It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and asked again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Why don't we just wink sync everyone that we come across? Then we would never need to ask anyone any questions. We can just steal their thoughts. Yeah, let's. That seems way easier. <laughs> Alright, we're going to wrap this one up here because we're out of time for today. But in the next one, we've got three more places to visit. So I guess that's probably going to take the entire next episode. But we might get a lead. See, we only got three days and all. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking it out for me and I'll see you in the next one.